and what worried me about Michael Beale, but I still stand by what I said originally, my first initial instincts for the way you time derby was the Sunderland players, the majority of them froze on the day. Here we go back again with another video and we're going to chat about a few things to do with Sunderland of course, to do with what happened at the weekend and of course one or two things to do with absolutely nothing to do with football. <laughs> Why would I say that? Of course, of, oh, 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 fell over. of course it's all things to do with football. And there was three people got the correct score of Sunderland nil Newcastle 3. <laughs> <coughs> so well done to you three. You get a point in the big book of C. I'll read your names out right now. It was Marianne and Carl Taylor from America. User, this is a, this is a tongue twister. XP8G. K7TK7D, well done. Can I have a proper name? <laughs> and of course, JNUFC all got the correct score three nils to get a point in the big book of C. But there's only three people who are in the hat at this moment in time to win the England shirt. And I will do the draw for that some point over the weekend. So well done to them three people. You are gonna, one of you three are gonna win the England shirt. And I have got a couple of new shirts from LU Soccer, which I'll unwrap any minute now. And you can have a chance to win those as well. Upcoming fixtures. Oh, oh I need to find somewhere. To, um, oh, I need to find somewhere to open these shirts from LU Soccer so I can give them away for your charge. Only to those subscribers to the channel. So before we get into the meat and bones of the video, I've got some new, new shirts from LU Soccer. Let's open up the shirts and see what you can win. You know, I give whatever I get for your charge, I'll give away to the subscribers. You've got to be a subscriber. I don't hold things myself. I give it away to you, the subscriber. So all you have to do is be a subscriber. Now, one of three people are going to win that shirt, that England shirt. But I've been sent two more shirts from LU Soccer. And let's have a look what's in As I said, we're going to be more England shirts. Look at that blue England shirt. You can let me know what year, what, oh, it tells you here. I think. No, it doesn't. Let me know what year did England wear this. Now, let's have a look inside. I thought I'd do it outside this video rather than inside. Look at this shirt you can win on the channel coming up. There we have it. The quality. On oh, that shirt is superb. Oh, look at it. Tremendous. What year is this? Someone let me know in the comments down below. Absolutely amazing. This is the first shirt you can win. You know what? I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. You can pop over to LU Soccer yourself. And, and I think it's, it's, it's TM10. And you can get 10% off any purchase on LU Soccer. 10% off. And the quality, this is an extra large shirt. Now, at some point over the next few games, you've got an opportunity to win this shirt. Absolutely amazing. Now for shirt number two. I love the great outdoors here. But another shirt, this one's a large. And again, another England shirt from the courtesy of LU Soccer. Top quality goods at reasonable prices. And when they keep giving me free shirts, I still keep, I'll just give them away to the subscribers. I'm gonna give another taker. But then again, you know, I can't complain. Let's see what is. This again is another England shirt. And again, I don't know. I have no idea what season, what year this shirt was worn. It has a lovely black badge on. Look at the badge on there. Absolutely tremendous. And the quality. Again, if you, if you have sensory issues like me, it feels lovely on your skin. It does feel lovely on your skin. That's, so that would be nicely worn, playing five-a-side football, going for a night out somewhere, you know, or abroad on holiday. These shirts from LU Soccer are absolutely superb. And I'm going to give you a chance later on this week. The competition details will be coming out on the Ipswich preview how to win this shirt. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. I've got a bit of transfer news. We'll have a chat about that. I hate those bloody cattle grids. Yeah, a bit of transfer news. We'll chat about that as well. And also, you know, we'll have a talk about one or two players that are available. And would you want them? To be fair, would they even come to Sunderland? After the right old carry-on, 
with the owners of Sunderland to do with the whole new Newcastle fixture. What's going to happen with the Sunderland owners? I mean, the fans are starting to turn against them already. And I heard at the weekend in the corporate Black Cats bar, everyone was given free beer. Is that actually right? Is that true? If if we were, imagine I was there a couple of, I was there last year actually. I went a couple of matches last year in the Black Cats bar. We didn't even get food one day. So imagine if it broke down, if the internet went off when Sunderland, you know, fans were in the Black Cats bar. Would they give Sunderland fans all a whole load of free alcohol as well? <laughs> if you give Wincy and Raimondo free alcohol, the bar will be dry by half time. <laughs> so going on to the Sunderland players at the weekend, I mean, a lot of young kids, like we already know there's a lot of young kids involved with the team. If you took out the likes of Ballard and put him in the Newcastle side, just for an example, right? Even the likes of Dan Neal is a one-off. Just the one player. You put them in, not just Newcastle, put them in another good side in the Premier League. Would they fit in? And would the players around them, would that mean they would up their game? So for me, I think individual players like that will be pretty good in a good side. But when you've got lots of kids with no experience, there's no one to raise the game. It's on these bloody cattle grids again. So that's where the hierarchy at Sunderland, KLD, Speakman, have let the team down, let the side down, by thinking they can just do it with kids. When I don't think we can bridge that gap with just kids. And also, do they want to actually bridge the gap? Because is it just a way... If, yeah, if keeping, keeping, you know, the, the club afloat, them to make money by just keeping someone in the championship. Oh, oh. So going on to the Sunderland players at the weekend, I mean, a lot of young kids, like we already know there's a lot of young kids involved with the team. If you took out the likes of Ballard and put him in the Newcastle side, just for an example, right? Even the likes of Dan Neal is a one-off. Just the one player. You put them in, not just Newcastle, put them in another good side in the Premier League. Would they fit in? And would the players around them, would that mean they would up their game? So for me, I think individual players like that will be pretty good in a good side. But when you've got lots of kids with no experience, there's no one to raise the game. It's on these bloody cattle grids again. So that's where the hierarchy at Sunderland, KLD, Speakman, have let the team down, let the side down, by thinking they can just do it with kids. When I don't think we can bridge that gap with just kids. And also, do they want to actually bridge the gap? Because is it just a way... If, yeah, if keeping, keeping, you know, the, the club afloat, them to make money by just keeping someone in the championship, developing the youngsters and selling them on for more money. So Job, who came in the last transfer window, for whatever it was, I know Birmingham take a percentage of the sell-on fee. So if we make a lot of money off Job, then obviously that's going to go in the kitty of the owners, isn't it? And like to speak, man. Maybe it's to reinvest a little bit, but keep the rest for themselves. And if, that, if that's what we're going to do all the time, we're never really going to make it or bridge the gap to the Premier League. We're always going to be in the same situation. So they've either got to think to say, so we either going to have to put up. We've got to put up with the likes of, you know, KLD and them just using us, staying in the championship and making money out of the club and keeping us afloat with that money. And until they eventually sell, or they do change the way of thinking, and then think right now it's time maybe we bought some experienced players, some better quality players in, and we can really try and go for the Premier League. It's it's a, it's a strange one at the moment. It really is a strange one at the moment. So yeah, folks, out on me walk. Been to work today for the first time for a couple of days. It was difficult to work today. It was a, it was a hard shift today at work. And I felt weak and tired still off me, oh, off me, off me, flu, cold, 
sickness bug I had. So it's been a difficult, difficult few days. But I'm hoping we're going to be over it tonight. I'm going to do a good, I'd say a good five to six, seven, eight K walk here today. And hopefully I'll feel a lot better tomorrow for this. Still a bit lost here now. Lost, can't see the wood for the trees. I'll get back onto the main path again. Don't know what come this way. <laughs> so talking about the place, something they brought in in the summer transfer window, Job and Rushin are the only two that was playing. I think only two that were playing at the weekend. Job's forms dipped, didn't have a very good game. And Rushin didn't get any service. So the transfer window in summer hasn't really sort of been as good as the previous one. If you're enjoying the content so far and you're new to the channel and I can make it over here or falling through the holes in the floor, please give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content and subscribe to the channel as well. Be much appreciated. Thank you. So the last team to be drawn out of the FA Cup would have been Sunderland if we'd beaten Newcastle. We would have been playing Fulham away again in the FA Cup like last season. If buts and maybes. We didn't. We got beat. And well and truly beat, as we well know already. And I'm still not really recovered from it, even though life does go on, doesn't it? <laughs> but Kiefer Miller, I've heard rumours and kind of sniffs around Kiefer Miller for Sunderland. Big tall striker, the target man which we need. Imagine Kiefer Miller up front with Rushen. That'd be quite a good double act, I think. The big man, little man, that could work. But I heard it allegedly wants 40k, 40k wages a week. It's a lot of money. I can't see Speakman or KLD even going anywhere near Kiefer Miller. I'd be amazed. But they owe us one. They do the horse one. Yeah, after the debacle of last week to do with the Black Cats bar, they need to really start thinking a little bit more KLD and Speakman. And hopefully they will delve in the transfer window and, and give us something to be happy about. Let's get some good experienced players in at Sunderland. We need something. Kiefer Miller, he would do 31 years of age. Been around the block but still scoring goals. He scored nine goals for Bournemouth in 30 odd appearances. That's pretty good for the Premier League. I don't know why he's out of favour there. I don't know what's going on, but you know he did he did play. Was it 22 games on loan from Ipswich to Rotherham and scored something like 13 goals? Then he went to Barnsley, 50 odd games, 20 odd goals. After Barnsley, where did he go? Let's have a think. Wigan. Again, good return of goals at Wigan. And then, of course, Cardiff, 60-odd appearances, 20-odd goals as well at Cardiff. So the return for his goal per ratio is quite good. And imagine them goals for Sunderland at this moment in time, the last 20 games of the season in this current, you know, playoff push. I kind of get through there. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Keep him away. Keep him away. A yes or a no for you? A yes for me? I'm going to have words with me sauce and I won't know any information to do with transfers, you know, concrete sort of information until probably Thursday or Friday. So I'll get back to you with Keith and Miller later on in the week. But for me, a no-brainer. But again, it's whether they're going to change this model. And Sunderland fans are starting to get frustrated. Oh, getting cold. I like me homegrown players, as most teams do. Now... Was one player wants to come back to England, Jordan Henderson, ex Sunderland Academy player, Liverpool and England captain, went away, controversial circumstances to go to wherever he went somewhere. I don't know exactly what team it was, of course, I couldn't pronounce it, even if I tried. But he wants to come back to the Premier League. Or, Jordan, Jordan, the Championship. There's no way we're going to get him, are we? But there's one place I don't want to see Jordan Henderson go, and that's Newcastle. Do not go to Newcastle, Jordan. Henderson, do not go to Newcastle, please. Oh, I'd be absolutely devastated. I mean, you know, you know, no offence to Newcastle fans, but I don't want Jordan Henderson to go there. And I don't want this to be bloody Fulham either. <laughs> no sour grapes, I'm sure. No sour grapes at all. <laughs> I'm not a fan of, like, I'm not a fan of your homegrown if your homegrown players going across the river or going across the water, as you would say. I'm not a big fan of, like, say, for instance, a homegrown Sunderland player going to Newcastle. I'm not a great fan either of taking one of their players to Sunderland. I never wanted Lee Clark to come to Sunderland. I never wanted Michael Chopper to come to Sunderland. 
But it is what it is. We don't have any choice. That's just the way I am. I can't change it the way I am. It's like the, the, the rivalry, you know? And yeah, it is what it is. But Jordan Henderson, I would love it if he came to Sunderland. That's the experience we want. But now nah, he's getting paid too much money away abroad at this moment in time. If he comes back to England, it'll be the Premier League, uh, a Premier League side. Any Premier League side, just not Newcastle. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm enjoying the walk. Hope you're enjoying the video. It's a bit crack on. You know, a bit crack on. It's January now. You know, it's January the 8th or 9th. The 9th, isn't it? It's the 9th today. It's time we start getting some players in. You know, not just loans. I can, I, I could, I could accept Keith Moore on loan because he's exactly what we need up top to help the likes of Rushen. So hopefully, have those two up top would be great. But yeah, what about that plane, bone plane anyway, where it's fire door fell off in the, up in the sky and the, 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 the pressure changed in the aeroplane and, and three or four days later, some bloke found, the, uh, found it in his back garden, some big, big, big door off the plane. How do you not see a plane door in the back garden for three or four days? Might have been away, I suppose. <laughs> not very observant. Right, get the heart rate going a bit. Time to go for a bit of a run. First run since probably about Wednesday or Thursday, actually. Thursday, I think. I did a tiny run on Thursday. So, yeah. I need to get going again, get the blood going, get the heart rate up, and try to get fit again after the, the sickness bout. Was it something virus it's called? I can't what it's called now. It begins with N. Let me know in the comments down below. Bloody horrible. Wretched. Sick five times in five hours. Absolute nightmare. Lovely day though, the day. Nice and calm. Wonderful conditions. Underfoot conditions are quite good, to be honest. Yes, Kiefer Moore has also scored nine goals for Wales. This is a bit slippy. Oh, I'm over. Out of 30 odd games, so Welsh International. Come on, realistically though, where do you think it'll end up? If you do enjoy this kind of shite, or me talking shite on out and about videos, I do have another channel called Mads Out and About. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you've already subscribed, thank you. If you take a look, you don't like it, don't worry. If you like it, subscribe. Many more of those to come this next year. Start next week or so. Loads of trees being felled down here. Look at this chopping the bits of these trees down here. I found some life, some life up there. There's a house there. <laughs> Just seeing there's some trees being felled there, but there's actually a, 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 a well. What the hell's a well doing down here? Oh shit. Ah. Let's see how deep the well is. How deep is your well? Your well, how deep is your well? I really need to know. Let's have a look at this big stick. Fucking hell. Can't even feel the bottom. Don't want to fall down there. <laughs> if I fall down there, this video certainly won't be uploaded. See, this tree's being felled over there. Right, you know, it's blown down by strong winds. Ooh. Wind's picking up. Right, does anybody know where I am? Little houses up here, trees, lovely walk. About six cage, six k house up here. We'll walk up onto the main path and it'll take you back to where I've come. Good little walk. I love running this in the summer months when it's not too slippy. And you can actually walk further down that way and head right down to the river where you're tremendous. Nobody down there. Nobody kicking about at all. Head to the main path and somebody's house. I'm sure someone will know where we are. If you do, let me know. I haven't got a clue. It's just starting to get dark now. Danger North through road. Well, yes, definitely not down there, is it? We're heading off. Hopefully, back to where the car is. And what worried me about Michael Beale 
Well, about what Michael Bale said is a lack of experienced players and also he looked at his bench to make substitutions and there were younger, inexperienced and a weaker bench than what was, he was playing already on the, on the pitch. So he didn't make any more changes because of those reasons. The bench wasn't strong enough. And that's a worry. He's already seen what Tony Mowbray has been saying and Tony Mowbray got sacked. So, is the cracks already appearing? We need experience in. Kill D, Speakman, you better bring some experienced players in this January window. You better, you know, strengthen the squad. Otherwise, find somebody who will. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for enduring this. God, I've got a snotty nose. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed this I can go for a run tomorrow I can go for a run tomorrow I've got my first bit of exercise in After my illness Happy days Come on KLD Speakman We're not asking for much I'd say Sartori But I don't even know what he does And one last thing I'll still stand by my convictions Or I'll still stand by what I said originally My first initial instincts For the way your time derby was The Sunderland players The majority of them Froze on the day that's my opinion. That's just my opinion. The froze on the day. Let me know your opinions on Kiefer Moore. Who you'd like to see come in. Any rumours you've heard. Jordan Henderson. Michael Beal. And the owners. Do you want the owners out? Have they burnt their bridges now by doing that shite last week? And giving the mags free beer. Where's my free paint? <laughs> see you later.